The problems at the state's public regulation commission over the years are too long to list. Now there's another problem. This time, News 13's Matt Grubbs found out that the man they entrusted to keep New Mexico's pipeline safe is under fire because he isn't qualified for his own job. Most of the time, nobody gives a second thought to the maze of pipelines beneath the ground in New Mexico. I'm Jason Montoya. The Pipeline Safety Bureau Chief is the one who's supposed to do that. His job is specifically mentioned in state law, which says he has to be a professional engineer. Jason Montoya's professional engineer's license hasn't been current since 2013. At the Public Regulation Commission, where Montoya works, we asked the chief of staff why. Does that concern you? Uh, no. Not, not this quality of person and, and the job he's done here. It's a simple oversight. As people that you inspect have some oversights and we hope to get them into compliance by doing the right things or teaching them what to do. Vincent Martinez says New Mexico's Pipeline Safety Bureau scores near the top quarter of states. And Montoya's license wasn't yanked, he says. He just didn't renew it. While it may be a simple oversight, it doesn't really inspire confidence in the man charged with overseeing pipeline throughout New Mexico. Out here, mistakes can have disastrous and sometimes even deadly consequences. A 2012 explosion in Santa Fe severely burned one gas company worker. He lost his arm after taking shrapnel in the blast. A disaster south of Carlsbad in 2000 killed 11 campers when a huge natural gas line ruptured. Sure, it's a concern, but I think he's been doing his job at the same time. Commissioner Pat Lyons called it more of a paperwork oversight. I think it's a matter of him just putting an application and getting it done. The chief of staff says state law only requires Montoya to be a professional engineer. It doesn't require that he has a, is a licensed professional engineer in New Mexico. But Montoya's job description goes further. It requires a current license. Just last month, he signed a document acknowledging he understood that. Reinstating his license might be tricky. To do it, Montoya has to sign an affidavit saying he has not worked as or represented himself as an engineer while he's been unlicensed. I think he's been doing his job at the same time. What to do about that affidavit might take some figuring for Jason Montoya. Matt Grubbs, KRQE News 13. Now we tried to talk to Montoya about the situation, but he wanted no part of it. If he does sign that affidavit admitting that he worked as an unlicensed engineer for the PRC, the State Board of Professional Engineers could fine him or refuse to reinstate his license.